everyone welcome to my channel and today we're going to do get ready with me i'm going to to talk about some other subject and one of them as you know is summer is here and the most important things you have to use spf it can be different way it can be cream it can be already your bb cc cream i'm going to show you what i have what i use i'm going to show you two of my favorite uh spf one of very affordable one another is uh, a little bit more expensive but excellent excellent quality i'm going to talk about that and just get ready uh to create some look is going to be i think i'm thinking to create purple with green so stay tuned we're going to talk about a lot of things and if you don't know me my name is angelica I like everything was related to skincare fashion uh traveling hairstyle obviously makeup colorful makeup with a new touch i'm also a dance instructor who loves to dance and teach and today we're going to do get ready with me uh touch some topics so let's start it so excited let's do it Yo. as i mentioned before spf is one of the crucial step which you have to do almost during uh, all the year especially in the summer is also depends where you live uh, how strong is the sun how much you outside if you if you're driving a lot if you're walking a lot all this has to be of course include all these factors i'm going to show you two of my favorite spf one of them is very affordable is korean spf i call it is a hydration cream it's amazing it's like a cream it's very good to put before your makeup routine so i think it's amazing if you don't use makeup also it's amazing to just put this you're ready to go and it's a great it's 50 plus spf and it says a lot of great things for your uh, skin so and you can definitely use it for our kids i this is what i normally do i use it for kids and i use it for myself and as you see it's almost done it has 70 milligrams of the product and it's pretty affordable i really really enjoy it it smell like nothing like fresh it's not going to bother the smell in the description below i'm going to put the links uh, where you can find this spf also i will put the link i talk about uh, different kind of SPF and another skin uh, you know my skin routine my favorite serums and so on so on how I do different steps also if you're interested check it out and another SPF which I absolutely love it from Marti Derma this is a Spanish brand and this uh, SPF is amazing so this SPF uh, not as cheap as this one and it's 40 mil but it's really prevent you from the damages some damages from any blemishing as anti pigment dark spot protection so this one is amazing so normally i uh, want to keep this spf when i'm going away when i'm really exposed to the uh, sun so this is is a great a great uh, option for you just check it out if you never tried it has a beautiful ingredients inside and love uh, this brand really advise you to uh, get this sunscreen especially if you uh, really uh, you know catching sun a lot during the day or you go into vacation really check it out this SPF the other option if you use every day you know makeup and one of the step is foundation of course i love this brand holika holika very affordable also korean bread bb and i like a shimmering one there is different kind if you have oily skin you can get another one if you have for example if you don't like shimmering one uh, you can get just a regular one but it doesn't give you shimmers. I'm going to use it today. So you don't really need to use SPF because it's 45. But again, if you go into, for example, to stay near the pool, I will advise to use SPF and then put this one. I'm just uh, very, very 
aware about that there are sun damages and I know how difficult it's to get rid of it. You will spend so much money to get rid of no. this blemishing, but if you don't take care of just a simple routine, putting SPF, and I'm pretty sure 80% of uh, population know that you need to put SPF, but half of us forgetting to put to do the steps. So this is a great opportunity if you're using makeup and you forgot to, you're forgetting the step to put SPF, you put this and you already have SPF inside. I'm the one who sometimes forget just about SPF if it's not a sunny day or something like that. But believe me, in Canada we have a strong sun even in winter. So be aware about that. So let's start to do the makeup. I really enjoy the e.l.f. Uh, the Holo Glow liquid filter. And as I mentioned before, you can use it in different way. You can use it as it is. Uh, my color is fair light. And I was thinking it's going to be too light for me. But I was surprised how great is this color for me. On top of it, I'm actually tanned a little bit. So you will be surprised. This is actually great color and normally it's all of the color is out of stock you will see this color more available than medium light that's what i'm trying to say so i just grab this uh, holika holika and i want to show you that it doesn't really have any shimmers inside it's just give you that effect of a little bit of glow not greasy no nothing if you have even oily skin it's still okay. I just put extra glow, uh, don't forget. So that's why you see what you see right now. And this, I really love this. I actually have another one. This is my third one and I have a fourth on my shelf because it's a summer and I really enjoy this product. It has a great coverage. I would say it's of a medium coverage. Normally you will see the BB will have a very light, light coverage, like barely um, you will not notice that you have anything in your skin. But this one, it has light coverage, but at the same time, it's cover pretty well. Problem spots where I have acne, it didn't cover that well. So what I do, I normally will grab my concealer and this concealer, I really, really love it. It's from Clinique. My color is Alabaster. If you want something neutral without you know, yellow or rose. This is an amazing, amazing uh, color. So look how it is. It's really like neutral. Really? It has a lot, a lot of uh, shades, so you can easily choose. So normally I will leave it for a little bit just to um, get the skin to absorb a little bit more. I'm going to do just primer for my eye. And I love this Juvia's Place, affordable 12 mil. I also like Anastasia Beverly Hills, but this one I use most every day. The other I try to use, you know, if I'm going out or something like that. So I think it's enough. I can actually display right now my concealer. And this concealer is, if you like a Huda Beauty concealer, if you like Shape Tape concealer, this is might be something you can discover. It's a really amazing concealer and I'm surprised that not a lot of people talk about this concealer because this concealer is really, really great concealer. It's like, a, you know, it's very light. It's very creamy. Like, it's amazing. I really, really enjoy. I would say I like this concealer as much. I like a shade tape, Hue the Beauty one. If you want something for a change and you want to try something different, for yourself try this concealer i really enjoy it and i'm thinking to go ahead with two palettes one of them is going to be from cleona cosmetic the first palette dragon fruit palette i'm going to show you in a second and another one is narvina the one is a purple item i guess it's number volume number five i believe yes volume number five and the other one, on fruit palette, I like the quality and the, you know, the shades, the color story, basically. I'm going to use 
Nars bronzer. Uh, this one is Laguna. And as you know, I have Laguna. There's two types of Laguna. I have the one it has a little bit of shimmer, but really not visible. If you do if you like something not really really matte completely, you should get just Laguna. If you like matte, there is another option for you. Same. And I know they already have a new one. But I really enjoy. As you see, it's already start to showing. As you oh. see, it's give you this very subtle, very nice sun kiss, I would say. Color. Look at this. And it's very effortless. Like how long it's take me? One minute to just put my bronzer. So now I want to do some blush and maybe we're going to go for a lipstick after so I can, you know, look pretty and nice. So I really like Patrick Ta palette. This is the blush palette. I'm not sure if it's still available, but I really enjoy. I think it's better to buy trio than duo because you have a lot of option here. And as you know, these colors, all these colors is now is in fashion and I really enjoy this color. So what I normally do, I will grab this color. The one is brighter and I'm going to put it up here on my cheek. The lighter one now, the pink one, which a beautiful, beautiful pink color. You can actually use it as a lipstick as well. Display this two colors. So I'm trying to do like ombre look. So now I'm going to grab gently because it's pretty pigmented. The first color, which is this one, more like I would say watermelon, like the new one um, Lady Gaga has. I would say this is pretty similar color. I really love it. She's vibrant and the pink, she's a doll. And now I'm going to grab the doll color and I'm just going to put it at the beginning of my cheek like that. And then you can see a little bit like an ombre effect. As, and I'm telling you, this palette is so, so pigmented. I really use just a tiny bit. It's, you can build it up as you want, but be careful. It's very pigmented. I want to use Fenty Beauty. This lipstick, Ballerina Blackout. And this color is one of my favorite color. It's like a pinkish, rosy. I brought three liners. So I think I'm going to start with the brighter one. This is Narvina and this is, I believe, electric pink. So I'm going to just... I have a tendency now to mix the liners. So, okay, so let's talk about the SPF. Um, I had some of the spots over here on the top of my cheek, and I want to get rid of all that, you know, small pigmentation. And I was doing a different procedure to get rid of it. It's so hard, you know, and even I see like, my mom, uh, she's older, she has some pigmentation as well. It's almost impossible to get rid of it. And any cosmetologist will tell you that pigmentation is the worst, is the worst thing, uh, is the most difficult thing to get rid of it. So be aware about that because to make this damage is very easy, but to get rid of it, it's a big, a big problem. So Instead of saving money and thinking maybe it's too expensive to buy this, if you really explore to the sun, if you really go into vacation, you better spend money for SPF than you're going to spend a triple money for your treatment. Believe me, I learned my lesson and now I am aware and I really look how bright just try to look everywhere. Bright this lipstick, I really love it. 
I think I'm going to go with this liner a little bit. That's what I want to do. I love to put a bright liner, but if I think it's too much or my leaks kind of don't have contrast, I mix it with a neutral liner. And this one actually from Essence, a lip pencil, and it's very affordable. It's like four bucks. And remember, it's make, made in Czech Republic, not in China. But I don't have anything against China, but I'm just trying to explain how good is this. And it's vegan, and the color is Charming, I think. That's the color. I found it. Charming 21. Really, really nice, affordable liner. Save you money and give you a great liner. So I think... That's pretty good. I also want to, you know me, I want to use Anastasia Beverly Hill, this uh, glitter on top a little bit. I just put it in the middle because, you know, glitter normally eats your lipstick and that's what I don't like it. But I love this glowy look. This color is Moon Jelly. So I want to put a little bit. Normally what I do, I just try to put on the top of my bow like that. Just to give this reflection. And this one is reflect with blue and purple and pink. But if you look like this, it's give you like bluish effect. So um, I think it's good. So let's start to create the look. So yes, yes, SPF. Another question for me, I want to ask you, maybe you give me some advice. I know it depends where you live and what you like and, you know, the summer what you normally do, how you spend time with your family during the summer. That's my topic as well. Uh, as you know, summer is now here. I just want to show you what palette I'm going to use. I think I want to use something with brown as well. I like the combination of uh, purple with orange, I told you before. But today I'm going to do purple with green and with uh, my idea to use some brown and we have a lot of brown over here i really enjoy this palette narvina volume 5 and i'm going to just show you this one dragonfly i am thinking to use one of these greens for sure so let's start with mattes and this mattes in narvina are very very pigmented so make sure you grab very lightly with your brush i think i'm going to go with this color with which is one of my favorite b3 I'm going to grab it gently, Ugh. just touch another color and it's just right away. And I'm going to just put it right here, buff it up. So yes, my question, how you spend summer with family, except, you know, going away, traveling, what else you do? If you don't go away, how you normally spend your summer? And maybe you give me some advice what to do and how to interfere kids to not you know spend time more together and spend the quality time instead of to be just on the ipad now i'm going to use b2 which is more like a pinkish light pink and i'm going to just put on top of here I already add some out of camera because i was so itchy to try on and my husband and my son just left now for work. And today is Saturday. He's working every Saturday. My little one, who is six years old, is going to the father's store. I think it's a great way to just introduce kids. What does it mean? Work, how you have to be responsible how you can talk with people and so on so i'm very happy that they're doing this and now it's summer it's so easy okay so i think it's a pretty good now i want to use this plain white which is white and i'm just going to put over here just a little bit and they are pretty intense I really enjoyed this quality of this palette. If you're thinking or doubt it, I really give 10 out of 10. This quality 
is a really something let's do for now low lash we will come back to my upper lash and i'm thinking i want to use something brown we have so many brown colors look at this some of them even metallic one which absolutely gorgeous maybe i'll go with metallic one what do you say i think so b uh b5 this this one which one is that here yeah b5 it's actually look darker uh, in uh, out of camera here it's a little bit lighter so I grab a little bit I know it's very pigmented and I'm just going to put in my low lash and I think it's going to be gorgeous just to going to build it up just going to blend it very well and maybe even add it at the end of my eye just create that shade over here i think this brown is so such a gorgeous brown normally i'm not fan of brown but this brown is like a darker chocolate i would say this is gorgeous i think it's very gorgeous just going to work in both eyes just to spread more okay so please let me know what you normally do with your kids or if you don't have kids what you normally do during the summer i know some of you live near the sea which is my dream to live near the sea i'll be and i think everybody said that who doesn't live near the sea i'll be hanging out in the beach and when people really live near the sea they barely go there but i'm sure kids love that or can go out near the pool. I think this is amazing when you have opportunity like that to do not just as vacation, as a regular season for you and you can spend time. I think it's, this is, I think this is what it's, I miss here. It's more sun, great pool. <laughs> You know, everybody, I think, dream about that. So I'm trying just to display, blend better and create a little bit. I think I want to go a little bit more with a different brush and just create the shade over here. So yes, I'm thinking to go, we have a wonderland here. So thinking to go to wonderland we have a lakes here in canada but uh my husband doesn't like lakes he hates it because he come from you know where was the sea and he can't stand after the lake yes. so now i'm thinking to use this two color so i think i'm going to go with this darker shade over here where's my white I'm just going to build it up right here and then the lighter one I think I'm going to use it on my corner and close to this area and leave this part white as well I use this first shade from Dragon uh, fruit palette from Cleona it's called uh, Dragonfly and the next one I'm going to use Katasia which is the lighter one and I absolutely love this color. I just want to grab the other one more uh, specify brush, which I really love it to use it on my corner. It's brush number three for refer number three. Just grab this color and go over here and maybe just catch a little bit of beginning of my eye on top and my low one as well just drop this color like a V shape like that I think it's gorgeous so, okay we have this space over here and I'm thinking I'm going to use this color which is also purple it's called infusion so I'm going to grab that color and I know it's pretty intense as well and I'm just going to go very lightly with my brush like that and I think that's it I'm going to leave that white 
I have over here. I think it's pretty gorgeous. We can definitely go on top of this one. Maybe I use a little bit. We'll see. Or just leave it as it is. It's also gorgeous. Okay, let's use a little bit. I'm just curious how it's going to look like. It's called Bubbles. I'm just grabbing really small amount and I'm just going to go place it next to the green one and I think it's absolutely gorgeous Let's give this reflection to the green I really enjoy it, I really love it okay, I think I'm done, what I need to do I'm going to go with the white over here this is the matte one over here again and I just want to go on top of my eyebrow over here this is a little bit thick brush but I'm going to try to work with that like that to emphasize to bring them more higher kind of things have this illusion and just go a little bit with my white like that I think I'm done I didn't talk too much but I guess I get some points about SPF about what you normally do with your kids or as a couple during the summer I'm just curious to see your opinion what you normally do uh, let me just finish my look I put mascara some I make some touches and I come back to show you the final result okay, I want to mention about this mascara which is from Gwen Stefani it's called can't stop staring before I use for another uh, of my other eye I just want to show you the difference I think I get my favorite one as well so I love my tower 21 which a lot of a lot of you love this mascara but you have to give this mascara attention I think this mascara even make your lens longer than tower 21 I actually did some shorts where I compare them together and now I use it for a while it's been I think I think almost a month I use this uh, mascara and I really enjoy so so what I did I finished other eye with mascara and I use the for waterline I use NYX I absolutely love them it's called this color is so fresh i really love it so also i forgot to do some highlighters and i brought today my my kayla highlighter i want to use the green one i forgot my brush the one i normally use let me grab some other brush which is the middle one i'm going to swatch it for you it's really reflect with green so let's do that so I normally love to use smaller brush, so ooh, look how wow, that's pretty much. Didn't expect that it will grab that much. But it's pretty. Can I even go more further like that? So it's reflected with green as you see. I really love this highlighter. I don't know, people some people think that it's too you know glittery or something but i really enjoy it i think you really see it if you like visible one this is one for you i think i'm done so uh, i was really have a lot of fun to chat with you to talk about a little bit spf how important it is you know what let me just put my absolutely one of my favorite one elf coconut uh, setting spray oh it's so nice smell is amazing i really love it okay i think that's it this is my final look i hope you enjoy i really love to bring uh my palettes and probably the one you already bought and you have it in your shelf but you never thought maybe to bring them together or create some look to give you some inspiration to give you some ideas or maybe you have something similar uh i think this look it's vibrant it's really suitable for summer i you know me i always like a vibrant look um this is something to do for fun and i always love to create different looks with different palettes and also don't forget 
the palette you have. Sometimes I know you see new palettes and you, you see reviews and you want to grab it, but you still have these colors in your collection. So be aware of that. Maybe you don't need extra palette to stain your shelf. Maybe you just need to use what you already have. And this is what I do. I just want to give you some inspiration and some ideas. I had a lot of fun to get ready with you to create this look instead of be by myself looking at the mirror creating look and not talking with anybody. I hope you will share some some experience what you do in summer. I hope you let me know. Maybe you know some SPF which I don't know or maybe you discover some great foundation with SPF which you really recommended for me. I'm looking forward to hear from you guys and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm ready to go to pick up my daughter from gymnastic and we're going to do again hairstyle today. And as you know, I do a lot of things in my channel, also traveling, also all inclusive hotels. And now I really love to do a restaurant reviews. So I have a lot of shorts about restaurants, which is in Toronto for now. I'm doing, if I'm away in Florida, I do reviews for restaurants. So if you are interested, check it out as well. And I think that's the thing. Uh, I see you soon and enjoy your summer. Thank you very much for watching me. Baka baka. Have a wonderful and beautiful day. Depends where you are.